Amber Heard has told the judge that she screwed up with all her rulings in a new message. Amber has no way out and nowhere to go. She has lost her case, she has lost the public sympathy, she has no money, no leverage, and her appeal doesn't seem to be going particularly well either. In the midst of all this, it seems that Amber's worst side has been unleashed and she has made her feelings about the judge very clear. What has she said about the judge and how much will this cost her? Keep watching to find out. Amber's attorneys on Friday asked a Fairfax County Circuit Court judge to throw the jury's verdict out. The same verdict that said the actress had defamed her ex-husband Johnny Depp. In the 43-page document, Heard's legal team claimed that the final judgment had no evidence to support or back it. They also argued that the narrative of Depp losing his roles in various movies in the aftermath of the op-ed was also false. Additionally, they pointed out a major inconsistency in a juror's age due to mismanagement by court officials, which they claim cost Heard's team the case. What this means and what Amber is inferring by this has been put very eloquently by this Twitter user who writes, this is my non-lawyer take. Number one, AH wants the verdict set aside and everyone forget trial happened. Number two, let's ignore the verdict and at least set aside any money awards. Number three, telling Judge A, give us a new trial because you screwed up so badly with all your rulings and start over again. Since the judge has officially signed off on that verdict, Amber making her legal team file this motion to throw out the entire verdict is directly and publicly disrespecting the judge by showing that she does not value her legal acumen and feels like she screwed up her case. This is not the first and only move made by Amber to suggest her enmity toward the judge. Amber Heard very recently broke her silence on the unfair trial against Johnny Depp. Speaking on the Today Show, Heard talked about how she was unjustly treated during her defamation trial with the Pirates of the Caribbean star. My defense was largely kept out. Really important pieces was left out. My evidence was handled differently by a judge instead of a jury, claimed Heard. When asked if she thought Depp's lawyers were good at their job, Heard responded, I will say his lawyers did certainly a better job in distracting the jury from the real issues. Insinuating that her lawyers tried to distract the jury, but Depp's team certainly did better work. Speaking about her abusive relationship with Depp, Heard continued, As I testified on the stand, when your life is at risk, not only will you take the blame for things that you shouldn't take the blame for, but when you're in an abusive dynamic, psychologically, emotionally, and physically, you don't have the resources that say you or I do with the luxury of saying, this is black and white because it's anything but when you're living in it, Heard told the host. So this means that Amber's latest PR move is to discredit Judge Askerit and make it seem like she didn't know what she was doing throughout the entirety of the trial. How effective the strategy turns out to be, only time will tell. That's all for today. Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Was Judge Askerit at fault for anything that happened during the trial? Don't forget to like and subscribe.